In these lessons, I'll talk about the validity and the soundness of deductive arguments. So validity is when you have validity, this is something to do with valid or not valid. And soundness, sound or not sound. So there are four different outputs here. It could be valid, not valid, sound, and also not sound. So before we look into the validity and the soundness of deductive argument, first you all have to know that uh, for deductive argument, there are three different forms of it. Remember, for deductive argument, there are how many sentences? There are three sentences, which is permise one, permise two, and also conclusions. So the first form, the first form is always start with the word O, A, L, L, O. O, A are B, C is A, C is B. You might be confused on what are A, B, C. No worries, A, B, C is just a, uh, just a letter that representing the sentence, the object of the sentence. A, B, C, A, C, B. You just have to remember, this is the first form, the first format, the first structure. O, A, R, B, C is A, C is B. For the second format or structure, you have start with if, if P then Q, if you look closely, Second and the third form, they share the same format or structure for the first premise, right? Second and third form, they share the same structure for premise one. If P, then Q. If P, then Q. The differences is, for the second form, I start with P is true, Q is true. For P, followed by Q. And third form, you have not Q, followed by not P. Are you okay? I will show you that example, how do we know whether uh, which form are they in and things like that. And since with this understanding, you must know that we say that the deductive argument is valid when when the deductive argument is in any of the three forms. First form, second form, or the third form. Okay, if let's say the deductive argument is in any of the format, then you say that it is valid. Okay, now what is not valid? Not valid is the opposite of it, of course. It's not in any of the three forms. Okay, valid, the opposite, not valid. Not in any of the three forms. If you check the sentences, premise one, premise two, conclusions, and you realize that it's not the first one, start with all, it's not the second one, if P follow the structure, then not valid. Okay? Now, what is sound? Sound is when you have, see, this is permis 1, permis 2, conclusion, if all permises and conclusions is true. Okay, you check the sentence one by one. Permis 1, true or false? Permis 2, true or false? Uh, conclusion true or false is everything is true sound okay is everything is true 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 then it's sound it's not sound the opposite of course not all permises and conclusion is true okay the premise one true premise two, premise two true conclusion false true true false not sound Premise 1, false. Premise 2, false. Conclusion, false. False, false, false. Not sound. Any of the statements, any of the sentence is not, uh, is not true, then it is not sound. Okay? False, true, false. Not sound. True, false, true. Not sound. Okay. Now, uh, let's have a look on the example to give you a better understanding. Are the following argument valid and sound? So we check whether it's valid. Huh? Or... When you look at the word or, it might be the first form. Am I right? Might be. We need to check. Huh? Or A, multiple of 16 are A. Even number are B. 64 is C, multiple of 16. Ah, see, this is A. Huh? Cannot be B. Huh? Multiple of 16 is A, right? So this is C, this is B. You check. Or A are B, C is A, C is B. Is this in any form? Yes. The first form. So valid or not valid? This is valid. Okay, we check whether they sound. Huh? All multiple 16 are even number. 16, 32, 48, 64. Yes, true. 
64 is a multiple of 16, true. Even number, true. So true, true, true. This is, this is valid and also, and also sound. One more example. Valid or, so it could be first one, uh, could be, uh, or A, uh, B, Earth, C, la. spherical ship, spherical ship A or B. This is B. This is a basketball, this is A. All A are B, C is B, C is A. This is number first form or not? Is this the first form? No, right? This structure is different. C is B, this is C is A. So this is not valid. Right? This is also not the second form, not the third form. So not valid. Is sound or not? All basketball are in spherical shape. Yes, okay. The earth is in spherical shape, true. The earth is a basketball force, so not sound. Okay, let's move to another one. This one. Are the following argument valid? If, uh, if then, uh, it could be number 2, it could be number 3, or none of it. So if P, then Q. P, this is P, correct? Less than 9, less than 19, this is, nine, this is Q, correct? If P, then Q, P is true, Q is true. This is second form, so this is valid. We check whether this sound or not. If P, if W less than 9, then W less than 19. True. Okay? 4 less than 9, true. Now you see, this is W, now we replace with 4. Because W is an undone, it's a variable, you can put in any number you want. So 4 less than 9, true. 4 less than 19, true. So this is valid and also valid and sound. Okay. Valid or not? If P, then Q. This is P, this is Q. So this is second form, so this is valid. Okay, let's check whether it's sound or not. Uh, if A is not zero, it's not zero, meaning it could be four, it could be five, not zero for A, then it's a quadratic expression, it's correct or not? Not necessary, because we don't know the power for X, and we don't know the value of N. If N is not two, if n is not 2, then this is not a quadratic equation. n can be 2, cannot be, uh, can, uh, might not be 2. So we don't know. So this is not necessary. So this is false. Okay, it might not be a quadratic expression. So this is false. Okay, we look at this one. a is not 0. Is there any truth value? Do you know whether it's true or uh, not? a is not 0. You have no idea. This is true or false. You have no idea. So when you look at this kind of sentence, you have to look at uh, premise 2 and conclusion together together okay so if a is not zero then this is a quadratic expression uh, no so the conclusion is wrong am i right not necessary is a quadratic expression we don't know so the conclusion is wrong premise 2 we don't know but when we look at premise 2 and conclusion conclusion is wrong okay so this is sound or not sound so this is not sound okay one more example huh? Okay, look at this one. Is this valid if this is P, this is Q. 6 is divisible by 3. Ah, this is P or Q or not P, not Q. Divisible by 3. This is very similar to Q. 6 is divisible by X, so this is Q actually. 3 is a factor of 6. This is P actually. Is this valid? Any form of it? Second or third? P, Q, Q, P. No, this is not second. This is not third. The structure so this is not valid okay is this sound if x is a factor of six then x is divisible by x yes true six is divisible by three yes three is a factor of six uh yes so this is not valid but sound okay you have not valid but sound okay we go on is this valid uh L1 is parallel to L2. This is P. Gradient is gradient of L1 is equal to gradient of L2. So this is Q. If P then Q. Look at this one. Gradient of L1 is not equal to gradient of L2. This is uh, very similar to Q, but this is equal. This is not equal. So this is not Q. The opposite of Q. This is not Q. And this is not parallel. So this is not P. P, Q, not Q, not P. This is third form. This is valid. Is this sound? Uh, L1 is parallel to L2, the gradient is the same. True. Gradient, uh, this one you have to look at together. 
we have to look at it together. Gradient of L1 is not the same with gradient of L2, therefore L1 is not parallel to L2. True, the conclusion is true. So this is sound. Okay, this is valid and sound. Premise 2 and conclusion, you have to look at it together. Because when you look at premise 2 together alone, you don't know whether it's true or false. So you have to look at premise 2 and conclusions. Okay, one more. Are the following argument valid? Uh, if k less than 5, p, k square more than 25, if p then q. Look at this one. It's very similar to p but not p. This is more than, this is less than equal, the opposite. So this is not p. And this one, not q. So p, q, not p, not q. Second or third, no, none of it. So this is not valid, not valid. Okay, is this sound? Uh, if k more than 5, k square more than 25. If I put 6, 36, more than 95. If I put 7, 49, more than 95. So it makes sense. It makes sense. True. Okay, this one, you have to look at it together. k less than 5, k square less than 25. You have to check these two together. Okay? Because this alone, no true or false. So you have to look at it together. k less than 5. Uh, if I put 4, then I have 16. Uh, true, true, true. You have to check. Uh, if I put 2, less than 5, I have 4. Correct. If I put negative 4, I have 16. Also, less than 24. But if I put negative 6, then I have 36, which is more than 25. So is it true or false? False. For the conclusion is false. So this is not valid and also not sound. Okay, sometimes you have to check one by one, you know, the positive number, the negative number, zero, whether it makes sense or not. Because when you have to premise two and conclusion, it might make sense for all situations. If you have any situation that is not right, then meaning the conclusion is not true. So this is not sound. Okay, we go for this one. Are the following argument valid and sound? If P, then Q. This is, uh, this is Q. Four is a factor of eight. And this is P. P, Q, Q, P. Uh, second, third, no. This is not valid. Not in second, not in third form. Is this sound? K is a factor of 16, then K is a factor of 8. Okay, factor of 16, then it must be factor of 8. Is it true? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So you check whether they share the same factor for 8 and 16. So for 8, if the factor of 1, it must be factor for 8 or so. 2, yes. 4, yes. 8, yes. But 16, no. 16 is a factor of 16, but not a factor for 8. So this sentence, premise 1, is wrong. Okay? So not all situations. So this is wrong. Do I need to check the rest? Up to you. But this is not sound, definitely. 4 is a factor of 8, correct? 4 is a factor of 16, correct? So this is not valid, not sound. Okay? So that's all. Hopefully you understand more about validity, valid or not valid, sound or not sound for deductive argument. Thank you.